So what does interest rates have to do with the economy and how are tariffs going to affect the goods that you buy? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video today. So this week has been really interesting because the Federal, Federal Reserve lowered interest rates on Thursday. And then the next day, President Trump threw a 10% tariff on $300 billion worth of import goods from China that we will start receive, that we receive. Now, why is this interesting? Well, number one, I think it's cool that how the whole system works and how the chess match between us and China in us and the in the Federal Reserve and how it affects all this. So let's talk about the Federal Reserve first. First of all, the Federal Reserve controls uh, the cost of money that is basically lent out to you and I and corporations. Uh, the Federal Reserve uh, monitors monetary policy. Uh, they also um, oversee the banking system and they protect us, the consumer, to make sure that we're not getting ripped off. So. The move on Thursday was to raise or look, excuse me, lower the federal funds rate, which is the um, the interest rate that um, is charged to banks when they borrow money from us. OK, makes sense. OK, so when the banks bar lend it to us, they mark it up so that they can make money, too. So you got the federal funds rate at now it's between two and two and a quarter. And then the banks will then lend it to you at whatever the rate is and they'll make a profit in between some there somewhere there so this what this does is is it creates cheaper money which means mortgage rates are going to go down uh, car loan rates are going to go down personal loans are, uh, rates are going to go down more bit in a bigger scope scope of things uh, corporate uh, borrowing will be cheaper so the cost of money to borrow for a corporation will go down. Um, these are all good things because if you think about the economic machine and excuse the bird, um, the economic machine is I buy something from you, you take that money and you buy something from somebody else and so on and so forth. Well, with credit, you are able to buy more with the idea that you're going to pay it back in the future. Well, Unfortunately, that's how with cheap money, you can create credit bubbles like we saw back in 2007 to 2009, where prior to that, the safe seven years prior to that, people were able to borrow money at really, really low rates and then uh, buy stuff that possibly in the future they couldn't afford. And it created a credit bubble and that bubble burst. And that's what the housing crash was all about. The thing about all this is and since 2009, we have just gone like this or maybe like this to you. We've just gone up and we've had a couple bumps in the road, a couple of the 11 and I think 16, 2011, 2016. But essentially, we're at all time highs on the stock market. My concern is that with unemployment at its lowest, um, earning, corporate earnings are strong. Um, people are working who want to work, the system's doing well, and now all of a sudden we lower interest rates because, in their opinion, the way I interpreted it was to prolong this to go on for longer, prolong the markets to go higher, prolong the economy to keep going. Um, they're trying to get ahead of the potential uh, recession. But I really think this has a lot to do with tariffs. And the movement uh, that President uh, Trump is uh, making a move with China on raising tariffs. Now, a while back, he raised, he put a 25% tariffs on $250 billion worth of goods, different products, uh, different segment of products. And then yesterday, the second, yeah, the second, he uh, put a 10% tariff on $300 billion worth of goods. Part of that 300 billion is our day-to-day -day stuff. So apparel, so like a shirt like this, shoes, uh, general goods that we buy every day in our in the United States. The challenge is, is now manufacturers and people who sell these products, so me, uh, so for instance, this shirt possibly will be 
20, 10 to 20% more in the future because now China has to counterbalance that tariff cost to make money. So it's just this constantly moving up staircasing game that we're playing. And I believe that China is just going to draw this thing out because they can, because they, they can devalue their currency. They can just create money and keep their system going for who knows how long. Um, but, and they'll just wait out President Trump's period of time that he's in office. And possibly if he doesn't get reelected, then somebody else will come in and renegotiate this and China will get what they want. My concern with all of this is, is this. Markets have gone higher for, what, nine years now? Interest rates are super are low. I have a feeling we're gonna see them go even lower. I would not be surprised if we are in a low interest rate uh, environment for the next decade. I wouldn't be surprised if we get back down to a quarter percent um, federal funds rate in the future. The problem with that is, is you're creating more credit and you're putting more money out there that needs to be paid back. How does that affect our credit quality in this country, for of this country? How does it affect your household? Are you going to be able to make enough money to pay back those loans that you've taken out at a real low rate? And then if they're adjustable, like credit cards and so on, are you going to be, a, if when interest rates do rise again and inflation gets out of hand, and they raise interest rates to combat uh, inflation, are you going to be able to pay it back? Or is the stock market going to be able to uh, keep going even though we're lowering interest rates and possibly in the future will raise interest rates? I am concerned, and that's why I believe you've got to build a portfolio that is offensive but also defensive, that is disconnected from el the elements in the portfolio are disconnected from each other so they balance the portfolio just like this economy it got it's got to be balanced just like the people in this country and the rich versus the poor we got to create balance unfortunately i don't think we're creating balance so we got to be you got to be defensive and you got to be thinking in the future i believe the tariff uh situation with China is going to create some great opportunities for investments in the future in the next 12 to 18 months because of the migration from China to Vietnam to Indonesia shoe companies example Nike and Adidas manufacture 50 up to 50 percent of their good the things they make in China they manufacture the other 11 to 30 percent in Vietnam and Indonesia I believe you're going to see a movement from China's manufacturing to Vietnam to eventually Indonesia. Manufacturing will always migrate to the cheapest place they can manufacture a product because they can then charge you $100 for a pair of Air, Nike Air Jordans and then only make and only pay $5 to manufacture. That's a big profit at the end of the day. But as the cost of manufacture goes up because of these tariff things, they're going to start migrating their manufacturing somewhere else and somewhere cheaper. It creates opportunity. Amongst adversity is opportunity. Where are you looking at? When you're looking for it, look it for when there is pain, there is opportunity. My name is Trent Grinkmeyer. Hopefully this has been helpful. It's my insights. It's my thoughts about the market and everything going on. In the end, have a great day. Invest well. Take care.